Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to run Windows 10 on a 2012 MacBook or older. Apple only allows you to install Windows 7, but I've got a workaround for that. And with this process, you'll be able to run Windows 10 flawlessly on your MacBook. So here I have a 2009 MacBook Pro um, running a Intel Core 2 Duo with um, 8 gigs of RAM. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to locate in your browser and this will be in the description. So what you want to do now is you want to go into your spotlight search and type in boot camp. And as you can see, there is no option to create an install disk. So now what we need to do is we need to X out of this, go into your finder, go to applications, and then go to your utilities. You're gonna to wanna to make a copy of this and paste it onto your desktop. Go to Show Package Contents. Open that up. Go to Info Plist. And open with Other. Search Text. Editor. And what you're going to need to do now is go down till you see Key Pre USB Boot Support. And now select Pre and delete it. Go to File, Save, X out, X out of that. Now open this. Now, as you can see, my Create a Windows 7 install disk is now an option. And wait for your download to finish. For this step, you are going to need two USB flash drives. One will be 8 gigabytes for a bootable USB and the other will be to back up your system. So the second one needs to be as large as it needs to be for, you, for your computer's backup. So now you need to take your 8 gigabyte flash drive and insert it into your computer. Open the new boot camp that we modified, press continue, and uncheck both of these. We only want to install Windows 7 disk. And so then press choose. Go to Downloads and press and locate your Windows 7 file. Press continue. And it should pop up with this and it will say your drive will be erased. That's just talking about the flash drive. And then wait for that, and it, which should be done pretty soon. To download the bootcamp support file that you will be using on the Windows side, go ahead and locate this link, support.apple.com. It should say bootcamp support file software 4.0.4 and go ahead and press download. Once that's done downloading go ahead and insert your uh, USB install disk and move your bootcamp 4.0 file into your install disk. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your uh, USB flash drive that is big enough to support all the files on your computer so that you can back up your internal hard drive. What to do now is you want to take your USB and stick it into your computer. Open up your finder now, go to where you keep all of your files, highlight them, and drag and drop them into your USB. And then this will take a while depending on how much storage you have to back up. It's now time to create the bootcamp partition and install Windows 7. So go into your new bootcamp assistant, press continue, and uncheck both of these because those steps are already done. And now the step that we need to do is install Windows 7. Press continue and divide it up how, however much you want. You can keep more OS X or more Windows. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. I'm going to keep 30 on or 40 on Windows. The minimum that you need is 30 for Windows and I'm going to install it. Now this will take a little bit. Now the Windows install is loading and this will allow you to set up all of your files on Windows. Okay, as soon as you get into this install page, 
you're going to want to make sure that you choose the right preferences and then press next press install now I accept the license term next and go to custom select bootcamp partition and drive options press format just OK and then press next and then your windows will be installing it says your computer will restart several times during this installation so do not be alarmed if it does restart several times The setup will ask you for a username and a password, so go ahead and do that. Okay, the setup will ask you for a product key, and we don't have one right now, but as soon as we get to Windows 10, we will. So go ahead and press skip for now. Use recommended settings, and make sure that your time zone is correct. And now you will be logged into Windows 7. And there we have it, Windows 7. I went ahead and downloaded my favorite web browser, which is Chrome. So go ahead and open that. Locate the website located in the description for Windows Media Creation Tool. Go ahead to this page, download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Download Tool Now. And as soon as that's done downloading, I'll guide you through the next step. Locate your media creation tool. Go ahead and open it. Run yes. And this new Windows 10 logo will pop up. Go ahead and accept and select upgrade this PC now. Press next. And it will start downloading your Windows 10 onto your hard drive, but it won't install it yet. Just be patient while it downloads because it will take a while. Okay, so the next step will be to enter the product key. This product key will be for Windows 10 Pro. You can copy and paste it from the description down below. Press next. Press accept, and now you can see that Windows 10 is installing. It says this PC will restart several times and it might take a while, so just be patient. Once you have Windows 10 set up and installed, all you need to do now is take your 8GB flash drive, fit it into your computer, and locate the file called Bootcamp 4.0. Click it, run Bootcamp, and set up. Click yes, click OK, finish, and a new window will pop up saying this program might not have installed correctly. Go ahead and press install using combat compatibility settings. Press next, click I accept, press next, and install. And soon, this will install all the drivers that, is, that are needed. As the NVIDIA driver is installing, your screen may turn black and just flash black every once in a while. And that happened to mine. It's totally okay. It says it's going to do that, so don't worry. While it's installing the actual boot camp, it says this may take several minutes, so just be patient. As soon as that's done, go ahead and click Finish and press yes it will restart make sure that when you restart you hold down the option or alt key and uh, arrow over to windows and press enter now it'll take a little bit but it will uh, boot into windows click there and click this little uh, diamond and do boot camp control panel yes and click whichever one you want to uh, start up with 
Now I'm going to start up with Mac because that's the one I'm going to be using most and click OK. And now that's all there is for the boot camp installation. To activate your Windows 10 Pro, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your Windows Start menu, press Settings, and then go into Activation. And then try Change Product Key. If you guys do a little investigating and you uh, look at your drivers, um, you'll find that the coprocessor is does not have a driver. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Cortana and type in Device Manager and go ahead and open that. And there should be um, somewhere in here there should be a error saying coprocessor does not have a uh, driver. If you go ahead and click update driver software manually put in your bootcamp support file um, it will automatically update for you if you guys want to switch from windows to mac or mac to windows all you gotta do is either go to this little startup button right here and click bootcamp and restart in mac os or you can do it but manually by going to the windows start button clicking the power button and press restart and it will say restarting and as soon as that screen goes black it'll reboot and hold the option key and you can choose between uh, Mac or Windows and I'm gonna boot into Mac and there's the Apple logo and I'll show you going from Mac to Windows press restart then you'll hear the chime and hold option and go over, uh, press the arrow key over to Windows, press enter, and there's your login screen. For more clarification, there will be step-by-step -step instructions in the description, so check those out. Otherwise, you can, con or you can leave a comment and I will try to answer it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. Tell me in the comments below if it worked. Till next time, see ya.